Okay, here we're going to look at the coordination of secretion and absorption in relation to the human body digestive system. Now, secretion, we can look at the sundew here. This secretes this clear, very sticky substance that helps trap insects. In absorption, we can think of the sponge absorbing water. Now, looking first at secretion, we have secretin, and this is released when chyme arrives in the duodenum and increases the secretion of bile and buffers by the liver and pancreas. So what does this mean? So here's our a duodenum. Remember, we just have left the stomach, and this secretin is starting a cascading of events here. It's chyme, remember, that's coming out of the stomach, and this is going to bring in or stimulate bile to be um, produced by the liver and enter into the small intestine. Also, at the same time, CCK, or cholecystic kinin, will be released, and this is secreted also in the duodenum, which is the early part of the small intestine, when chyme contains lipids and partially digested proteins. So help accelerate pancreatic production and secretion of digestive enzymes. The body doesn't want to waste time producing enzymes it doesn't need. Cholecystokinin in here, CCK, will signal the pancreas to release enzymes to help break down these food items if they're determined to be there. Ejecting bile and pancreatic juice into duodenum will also be another um, role of this. So we can look here again, here's our food, here's our stomach, here's our intestine, Pancreas, livers are all kind of coming together here, and the intestine releases secretin and cholecystokinin, stimulating the secretion of pancreatic juice and bile. Again, secretion means to kind of release, and that's going to be in the early part of the small intestine to allow the absorption, which is in our next topic to talk about, uh, to occur over the vast majority of the rest of the digestive tract. So looking just at that absorption in general, it takes about five hours for materials to pass from the duodenum to the end of the ileum. Movements of the mucosa increase absorptive effectiveness. So what's occurring within the body? Well, we're absorbing a lot of things. Now we can see here the main part, absorbing nutrients in water to blood vessels and lymph vessels. And this occurs mainly in the small intestine. Keep in mind, also during this process, we're having stirring and mixing of the contents. Water to blood vessels is occurring mainly in the large intestine. So the body is absorbing not only nutrients, but also water. We want to do this to maintain hydration. And keep in mind, most of our absorption is occurring in the small intestine here. It's approximately 19 and a half feet, and for the large intestine, it's shorter, and that is being mainly used here for water reabsorption. 